got to be tough. You got to be fast. I'm going in. This is it. This army jeep is small and mighty. It can go about 30 miles an hour if it's geared correctly. A lot of fun, but it's a handful. And Jamie Price should know. He spent six months building it to spec for the ultimate showdown. The Power Racing Series is a group of guys that came up with an idea to race kitty cars, basically. Pretty much anything goes. It's the most ridiculous thing you'll ever see. But it looks so fun, so I had to do it. The competition's coming up. And to race alongside superheroes, you need a kick-ass car. This is Miss Julie, our Power Wheels Racing Series Jeep, and it's set up in a World War II era paint motif. It's got pneumatic tires, working headlights, taillights. It's got a digital dashboard. Got a big honking battery under the hood here. This is designed for ages three to six, or one adult, possibly. It's all prettied up now, but early on, this junked up Jeep looked more like this. Bits and pieces you might find at a dump. You just never know where you're gonna get your materials from. The speed controller for this, for instance, comes from a golf cart. The motor is a 12 volt industrial motor from a cement truck, and the frame was actually manufactured out of used recycled bed frame, all cut up and welded. It's kind of a Frankenstein vehicle. The craziest thing I've probably repurposed is a turbocharger off of a small vehicle. I've actually made that into a jet engine. It's got a full working afterburner, so it's a lot of fun at parties. Lately, Jamie's been deep in the trenches, working hard to turn his kitty car into a worthy warrior. So they're doing wider, lower, longer, and better handling and things. I was going for authenticity and look. But the Jeep's going to need some major surgery before it's race ready. We're going to be doing almost a lobotomy on this poor little guy here. This was completed just before the rule set changed, and they've now required a 1,400-watt fuse in line to limit the power. He's stripping it down to its bare bits, pulling out the whole drivetrain, the wheels, the hood, the body, and the batteries, and replacing them all. The motor that's in this one won't pass inspection. It'll, it'll keep popping fuses over and over because it absorbs too much power. Will Miss Julie hold her own on the track? Time to find out. Here in Atlanta, huge crowds brave chilly temperatures to check out the crazy cars. Now you just have to figure out how to steer in and hold right? the pitch for it well, at the same time. I can multitask. We've got, I think, 10 cars here today, and we've got a good track set up. And this one's actually on a slope, so the downhills and the corners are going to be a problem for everybody, but especially this tiny little thing. My strategy to win is to not break down, not catch fire. That's a good start. Speed's important, power too, but the key here is attitude. A tech inspector measures voltage and fuse levels, and then drivers prepare for their qualifying rounds. My biggest worry uh, is probably the car braking or somebody getting hurt. As little and cute as these things are, some of them are pretty, pretty powerful and they can get away from you pretty quick. No, 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 keep going. You gotta keep going. You gotta keep going. It's a green flag. You took the green. <laughs> green is go. There's confusion here. So it's not exactly Formula One. Oh! Into the dialogue. You are good to go. Jamie is killing it out there. He qualifies second, and now he's ready to race. Good pace started. The Jeep's blown a fuse. It's back to the pit with a little help from the Cape Crusader. Move, move, move! A quick swap, and he's back on track. Hey! America's back out and cleaning the lap! This is madness right now! This time, Jamie eases up on the throttle, but the fuse blows again. If it's not fixed soon, he'll be out of the race for good. Unbelievable. Jamie gets an A for effort, but he's out of time. Herbie the Love Bug claims first prize. But Jamie easily wins the Moxie round, where teams have two minutes to wow the crowd. The real prize, though, sharing it with his wife, the original Miss Julie. I've always had a great imagination, and I just enjoy envisioning something and actually making it come to fruition. Don't go to bed. 